So welcome back to Tech Tuesday. I'm going to be showing you how to blur out faces and objects using PowerDirector 12. So here are my two clips that I'm going to demonstrate how to blur out objects slash faces on. Uh, one is just one person and the other one has three people, but I'm going to show you how to blur out two people. So in this first one, I'm going to show you how to blur out just one face. So I'm going to drag my clip down into the timeline. Um, and when I'm using shorter clips like this, I like to zoom in on it. It makes it seem a little bit more workable. That may just be me. And you're going to hit your effects button and fly, find, you're going to find this blur object effect and total click drag fail. But <laughs> now that I got it right, I'm going to shorten this to the size of my clip. Um, I totally recommend doing this. If you're using a longer clip, just kind of adjust accordingly. And now I like to go to the beginning of my clip, so I just click on stop. And now you're going to modify this effect. And on this degree sliding bar, this is going to make the blur effect more intense. So the further right you go, the more blurry it's going to be and the less of any definition you're going to see. And in this style, you can choose either box or circle. So I'm going to choose circle and hit mask. I prefer circles on uh, like clips like this, but you can choose a box if you feel like it. And now you're just going to size it accordingly. Definitely have it go over the face and just in general over the whole head and even a little bit further as this is a moving, moving clip. You don't want any slip ups going on. And then I'm just going to preview this and see if I need to adjust it. And I did see that I wanted to adjust it. You don't necessarily have to, but I just want to show you how you can completely cover her hat. So going to the end of the clip, I'm going to hit modify and then mask. And you're just going to adjust that. And now here is the clip all the way through. And that is what that blurring effect looks like. And that's just on one face. So I'm going to go and show you how to modify for two faces. So I've already dragged my clip down onto the timeline and I'm just going to drag my blur effect down into the effects bar in the timeline. And as you can see, my head actually goes above this frame. So a circle is not going to work here. So what I'm gonna have to do is use a square to cover my whole face and my head so that, again, no slip up happens. So just shortening the effect again and shortened a little bit too much. So here I am readjusting. And again, go to the beginning of the clip and you can adjust the degree of the blur. I did just a little bit and I'm actually gonna keep it as a box, like I said before. And now you just want to adjust this. Again, make sure it covers the face and the whole head and even a little bit further as this will help mask the identity. And now this is what it looks like. So play it through just to make sure that everything is completely covered. And there you go. Next, you're going to hit produce on this puppy. And this is going to allow you to add an extra effect. So for the sake of this video, I actually just left it lowest quality so that it would just produce really fast. I definitely recommend producing it in your videos as the quality you're actually going to be using so that you get, again, the best possible quality. So dragging that produced clip down into the timeline, I'm going to add my blur effect once again onto the timeline and shorten it and hit modify after you go to the beginning of the clip. And now again, messing with the degree because I want to, I'm gonna use another box and adjust this so it fits over the other face. And this is what that looks like. So there we go, no slip ups and two blurry faces, just how I wanted it. So thank you guys for watching. Comment down below if there's any other editing or effect thing you want me to show you. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful day.